Nope. It all started with an Instagram post. I have a personal Instagram, which I keep private, but recently made a second Instagram account slash page dedicated to a channel I run on YouTube. I make crime-related videos on the channel, and so I decided to create a public Instagram page for the same. Even though I generally only post content relevant to the channel's topic, I posted a picture of myself on the page around a week ago. I created a hashtag that I thought was unique on the post, which was hashtag KIS, except the S was actually a grapheme. It was supposed to be an acronym for knowledge, investigation, and the SH sound. I know it sounds childish, but it seemed like a creative idea at the time. To be honest, I was trying to be cool, and I thought I'd make my own hashtag so that it could be something that my followers would identify me by. A day after I posted the picture, I was suddenly getting tagged in multiple posts and had a ton of DMs as well as DM requests on both of my accounts. At first I was super excited. Was my hashtag going viral? Did one of my posts or videos gain traction online? The happiness, however, was short-lived. I soon realized that the tags and DMs were weird and kind of creepy. A lot of them were incomprehensible. Others seemed to be in another language, and despite trying to Google the words and messages, I couldn't figure out which language it was. The post I was tagged in showed some short videos or pictures of stones, lions, or random letters. I couldn't understand most of them, but a lot of them had the same word or symbol in the messages as well as the post captions. The characters for whatever language this was used a lot of pointy and jagged marks. I couldn't help but notice they looked like little knives or maybe even really sharp teeth. Some of the messages were in English, but they didn't make too much sense to me. For example, keep my house safe from evil, or take away Veronica for she has sinned. I offer to you my sacrifices. One of them even said, now I understand the reason behind the spread of the pandemic. The tags, messages, and comments continue to come every day. There are so many, I can't even go through them all in one day. I did want to create a presence online, but not like this. What's even going on? Three days after I posted the picture, a package arrived at my doorstep. The contents of the package were a long robe and a scimitar. Something you should know about me is I have a pretty bad temper and get impatient easily. Lately, I've been more short-tempered than usual, but it's like an anger I've never felt before. My anger comes in short bursts and is intense. This anger is volcanic and my rage is is it's destructive i broke my friend's television the other day and even though i did pay for it i am not getting invited to his house anytime soon if ever i was feeling so angry about something my professor said in an online class that i unmuted myself and screamed at him as loudly as I could. Dealing with the repercussions was hard, but the most disturbing part for me is that I know this is not my nature. My anger never gets even close to being this bad. I never act like this. 
On the date that the robe arrived, I started hearing faint static-like noises from the outside of my house at night. At first, I thought it was an insect of some kind. When the sound didn't stop the next night, I listened to the sound more carefully. It seemed like the neighbors had their television on high volume. That was exactly what the sound was like. Yesterday, the sound was louder. I woke up in the middle of the night to the same buzzing static sound. I opened my window slightly and looked outside. Beyond the fence, I saw tiny lights. It appeared as if someone had small lights in perfect lines. The lights were attractive and glowed soothingly. I adjusted my eyes to the dark outside and realized that the lights were illuminating from candles. Candles that people were holding while staring at me. They were in robes and they stared. My breath quickened and my stomach fell. What the hell was this? I might not be the bravest person in the world, but I have never been more scared in my life. My heart raced, and my first instinct was to close my blinds and hide. I tried to breathe and think about what to do next. I picked up the phone, and before I could even switch it on, it started to buzz. Someone was calling me. I declined the call and called the police. They arrived shortly after, and even the officers were stunned at the sight of 40-odd people standing outside my house, their eyes still fixated on me as if they were hypnotized. There were men, women, and children in this small crowd. They were all taken away, and as of now, None of them have told the police anything. I handed over the robe and scimitar to the police as well. They said it had blood on it. The last update I got from the police was scary. They sent me a text message. It had a couple of lines that were completely unintelligible, but ended with the same exact hashtag from Instagram. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, you know what to do. Grab your scimitar, sharpen it, and then just attack that like button. Just stab and slash. Remember, stab and slash. Shout out to the author of this story, Riti Davidi. I, I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh... I will leave a link down below to the original No Sleep post. And guys, if you like this story, I recommend you read the original post. I had to kind of change it around because it's a more of a visual story because it's dependent on seeing the actual hashtag, which, fun fact, written in cuneiform, which is the ancient text of my, of my own people. So this story has a special place in my heart. So, Riti, I will leave a link down below to connect with her and to check out her channel, Crime and Criminality. Uh, if you're interested in that, leave a link. I'll leave a link down below where you can subscribe and check out her videos. But until next time, everybody, remember to stay safe out there. I'll be seeing you in the next video.